Mac, why when we're looking for the next spot, how do you determine what depth to fish? Well, that's a good question, Greg, and there's two guidelines I use that are good general guidelines. For one, if you're fishing a piece of brush or something that's real tangible, brush pile, a, a stump row, whatever, put your baits just above the obstruction, just maybe two feet above the obstruction. If the bottom's pretty clean and you're looking for fish on the graph, put the bait where you see the greatest amount of activity on your graph. If the fish are 20, put your bait 18 to 20. If the fish are 15, put it 13, 14, 15. Drop the minnow right down to the bait and experiment with it as the day goes on. But if you're in the right depth, you'll know because you get the bite pretty quickly, so. Hey, Mac, these spot tail minnows, are they pretty common in Lake Lanier and in the southeast? They seem like awful good live bait. They're pretty widespread, and basically it's some type of a chub, almost like a horny head used to catch in the creeks when you were a kid. And on Lake Lanier, you can find them almost anywhere there's a nice sand beach, and they don't get much bigger than this. This is a pretty good size uh, spot tail. Most of them are, are half this size. And no matter what size they are, they make good bait. They're easy to keep. You can keep them in a live well. If you've got a bait tank like this, that's fine too. But as long as you've got a good aerator, you don't need to worry about cooling the water off. You don't need to worry about any chemicals and that sort of thing. So just uh, go get you on a good sandy beach and throw a net. They're great baits. They're fairly easy to catch and very easy to keep alive. And most of all, fish like them. There's, there's good baits, no question about it. So I'm gonna put this one to good use. I got one, got one, Greg. Yep, let's see. Oh, there he is, got him hooked up. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at him go. <laughs> look at that. It's turning drag. Nice one here, spotted bass. See you, Mr. Spot. Oh, he was all excited about that. Still in dump? Oh, 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 yeah. Good grief. Big old fish. That's a nice fish. That's a, big, that's a heavy fish. Oh, oh, look here, look. Good gracious. Pretty fish. It's a nice largemouth bass right there. Man, I'm gonna take it. See that one? Say goodbye. Mac, I believe that's the prettiest one today. That is a big old fish. So long. Let's go. Right that nice cool water. Man. Whoo, that got me shaking a little bit, Greg. Excellent. I think I'm going to have to take excellent, a break. Excellent fish. Give me a break and get a Coca-Cola. <laughs> Good deal. Definitely got to check our leader after that. Mac, I know we're catching a lot of spots today. Is this the preferred size tackle for that? Well, I, yeah, that's a great question, Greg. What I try and do is have something that hits a happy medium, because occasionally you'll run into stripers, catfish. You know, it can't be too light. So I like a medium heavy rod, six or six, six and a half foot. Something that's got enough length though that I can take up the slack, reel with a good fast retrieve, because like you probably noticed, a lot of the fish we've caught are moving left or right or moving up. Uh, it's just what you call standard bass tackle, 10 pound test. 10 or 12 with a uh, 10 or maybe even an eight pound liter. Today we dropped down to an eight pound liter because the water's pretty clear. It's pretty much what you'd use normally if you were going bass fishing.